I really need you to stop attacking me is part of my dilemma right now. Um, so I am going to pay three in order to cast my Wall of Blood. All right. It's a wall, so it can't attack, but I can pay one life, and for every one life that I pay, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Right. Uh, I am currently tapped out. Uh, actually, no, I'm not, because I can also tap my Leaden Myrrh, tap the Skeleton Shard. You can't respond because you have too little mana, and I'm going to get my Ornithopter back from my graveyard. Okay. Pay zero, cast the Ornithopter. That is my turn. All right, then. Okay, then. We're going to pay three in order to summon Cathedon. Cathode Ion, yay! Now the question is, do I really do I want to start paint? Do I re want to start painting you with your own wall of blood? Well, you know how I'm going to use the wall of blood. I hope. Mm, yeah, uh, you're gonna you're gonna end up paying one two three f uh, one two three four, uh, f and probably uh, probably five, oh five or six life in order to kill my uh, copper hoof. So no, I'm uh, uh, I will I will not I will not uh, ram my uh my poor uh, Vorak into that. I will end. Okay. All right. Let's let's make something crazy happen. It's more mana! Yay! <laughs> I love more mana. And I'm gonna tap one. Tap the shard. I'm going to get my Leaden Mer back from my graveyard. Mm -hmm. uh, pay... Uh, I, got f I got four mana on the table. Let's pay two to cast my second Leaden Mer. Okay. Um, I can't cast anything else, but I also can't really attack right now. Except now I'm showing a shitload of untapped permanents, giving your Copper Hoof lots of attack. Which is not great. Uh, with that, I have to end my turn again. I mean, theoretically, you could have attacked with Ornithopter. I, I could have. I could have. You're right. Alright. I'm going to cast another Great Furnace. Or not cast, but play another Great Furnace. Alright. And... Huh. Alright. Uh, I am going to swing out with everything. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh god, the pain. Okay, so what's right. the, what's the total? All right, uh, two, four, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, sixteen total. Sixteen total. So copper hoof is a copper hoof is an uh, eight eight right now. Eight eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So, in response, uh, why do I get the feeling that you're trying to get me to kill your cathode ion? <laughs> because the first thing that you did was attack. Okay, how many cards do you have in your hand right now? One. You have one card in your hand. I'm going to take that. And it's not a lightning bolt. So, uh, my ornithopter is going to intercept your copper hoof. Ornithopter okay. dies. You lose one life. Yep. And I still got eight damage coming at me. Uh, mm -hmm. Wall of Blood is going to intercept your cathode ion, and I'm going to pay th uh, three life to give him plus three, plus three until end of turn. Okay. So cathode ion dies. I get three to my mana pool. You get three to your mana Shit, pool, that's and, right. you, and you lose another life. Pool. I do, but uh, the but the big uh, but the big thing there is that the mana pool um, uh, dissipates uh, during the uh, during the phase transition. Fuck. I forgot that. Um, no, I mean, if you want to that's not how me and my, that's not how my friends and I play. The mana pool the mana pool is a lot uh, looser the way we play. If you want to do it like that, I I, I honestly don't. Um, uh, I I should I should have remembered I should have remember, remembered that. Okay, um, going back to the combat step. So I successfully blocked eleven damage. You still got five coming at me. I am going yeah. to eat the rest of that. So I'm down to five health. All right. Okay, and in main phase two, I will spend five mana in order to cast Arc Slogger. Uh-oh. 
Remove the top. <laughs> I remember this guy. Okay. Uh, and with that, I will end my turn. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can kill me. No, you can actually kill me during your next turn. This is terrible. Why am I individually untapping my mana? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really need mana, like, right now. Is it mana? It's not mana. Okay. Um, what can I do? Let's see. Uh, you that that this this fucking guy right here can kill me <laughs> during my next turn if I don't get rid of him. This is terrible. Um, what do I do? I can't just get rid of a bunch of artifacts and ping you one at a time. I have to stop you from getting that ability off. But I don't think I can. Um. Ah, oh, crap. This might be game, dude. I can't I can't stop you from dealing six damage to me during your next turn. Um because because you've been because you successfully stopped me from using the altar of shadows because you hit me with not just one but three molten rain cards. Tisk tisk tisk. So here is my response. I'm going to pay 3 because this is literally the best move I can do and it's not going to kill you. For the Nim Replica. Nim Replica is a 3-1. I can pay 3, sacrifice some target cruiser, gets minus 1, minus 1 until I turn. Okay, so I'm going to pay 3. I'm going to sacrifice him. Okay. I'm going to inflict minus 1, minus 1 on uh, your brown oaf. Okay. Or oafy, whatever it's called. And you and you take 1 damage because an artifact hit the yep. graveyard. I am tapped out. I can't stop you. I'm going to end my turn. All right. Oh look, I got another thing. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for game. Yeah. I will tap a mountain. Mm -hmm. Have Arc Slugger target you, and it's it's uh, exile, right? Exile. Well, it's this was before this was before exile this was became before a thing. Exile was a, technically a thing. Take another two. And... Exile another ten, and you're gonna end this game with only ten cards left in your library. Hey, there's your last molten rain card. Yay! I lose. Yeah. All right. All right. I actually won with Arc Slogger. All I didn't right. Think I'd win with Arc Slogger. No, I believe it because you won with Control. <laughs> I'm playing Gruel Control. What the fuck? It's okay. Right. Want to go into R2? Yes. I All would right. love. I love chances to win. I'm not sure if uh, Altar of Shadows is that good anymore because you're gonna keep destroying my mana. So uncool, well, honestly, dude. the big problem that Altar of Shadows has is that it's so fucking expensive to cat. Uh, it's so fucking expensive to use. Well, like, yeah, I'm keep. I could have used it. I honestly could have, but you destroyed my mana, and that's good for you. And it sucks for me. I'm gonna go first again. <laughs> Do you, are you gonna keep your hand? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna put down a swamp and end my turn. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go Tree of Tails and cast Brown Ophi. Yay. And I will end. All right. I'm going to put down a Swamp and pay two to cast Terror. Destroy target non-artifact, non-black creature. It can't be regenerated. Mm, I want to say that that's... Ex hold it. That's... You know what? I, 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 uh, ten is modern legal anyway, so... I will end my turn. I keep forgetting to hit pass. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, I'll put down another Tree of Tales. Oh, my God. And then I'll cast Clockwork Beetle. Yay. Um, I want to set two plus one plus one counters on it. Nice. Uh, and with that, I will end. Okay. Turn three. Swampy. Pay three. He he he. For the Nim replica. Okay. I will end my turn. Alright. Okay, I will cast Glimmer Void. Well, I will play a Glimmer Void. Nice. And then I will cast Viridian Shaman. And I'll, and I'll have Viridian Shaman destroy your Nim replica. Very good. Hmm. My question is. Okay, yeah. I will 
Uh, did you? Oh, man, even if I... T uh, oh, end of combat. Okay, I'll swing at you for two. Right, so I take two damage, and then he loses a plus one, plus one counter. Yes. Remove counter red. All right, and I will end. All right, let's keep it. Let's keep it right on going. You got a lead. Nobody knows for how long this lead will last. For I will pay three for the Loxodon Warhammer, which is not a creature. Loxodon Warhammer gives a crit creature plus three, plus zero, trample, and lifelink. Basically, I will end my turn. All right. All right, I will pay two to cast uh, Scythe of the Wretched. Nice. And then I'll tap a green in order to summon Brown Ophi. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and I will have Viridian Shaman attack you. I take two damage. All right, and I will end. Very nice. Very nice. Draw a card. Play a Swamp. End turn. Oh, jeez. It's okay. It's okay. Just let's keep it right on going. Because if this fails, at least I made a valid attempt at using this deck correctly. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to tap three. You really only have three mana? <laughs> yes, I really only have three mana. Okay. Uh, in order to cast a Viridian Shaman again. No! <laughs> you, you kicked it before I could draw my arrow. It's you have only nice one arrow. target. <laughs> it's a very nice arrow, okay? <laughs> and, and, hell, and heck, I could destroy my own side of the wretched. You know that. I want to use my own arrow. <laughs> I end. Okay. All right, kids. You want to see what I've been waiting for this whole time? I'm going to pay six. Ooh. Pay six for the Muh Incubator. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Only one of the most powerful cards in all of Meriden. For if I pay six and sacrifice it, also hoping your Ophi can't counter it, I remove as many artifact cards from my deck as I want, and I put that many 1-1 one, one Mer artifact creature tokens into play. Well, as it has a six and tap, yeah, I can, I'm pretty sure I can, I can counter that. Huh. You can't, no, you can, you can, because, but... But here's here's the problem, is that if you tie up your mana, then you can't counter me. True. Uh, the, uh, turn is yours. Turn is yours. I have no Sorry. other plays. Hmm. He does bring up a point, viewers. <laughs> I mean, I don't have anything else I can cast right now any damn way, so it's not that big of a deal. I guess I'll just end up swinging at him for, uh, for five. One, two, three, four, five. Can he lock me down? I have a feeling that he will draw. Oh, shit, I screwed up. What the fucking hell, damn it. Ah, oh, come on, give me creatures. These are... Banshee's Blade is not a creature. I have to end my turn. Wait, you did screw up. You screwed up. Screw up. You screwed up big time. Because now I get to do my Mer Incubator bullshit. Here we go. All right. So now I'm going to go through my library. I'm going to remove every last artifact card in here. Mm -hmm. Exile. Uh, you're not an artifact. You are. Exile. 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 And exile. So I have removed 19 artifacts. I create 19 1 1 mer artifact tokens. Okay. These are mers. There are 19 of them. Mm -hmm. But they all have summoning sickness. Um, I can put a swamp down because I haven't played land. And I'm going to end my turn. All right. No, that is another side of the wretched. Damn it. Alright. I'll cast another... Uh, no. Well, <laughs> yes, actually. I will cast another side of the wretched. It doesn't matter. Now I've, I've screwed myself over. I end. Okay. Now, how much power are you showing? You're only showing six power. Mm -hmm. Okay. God, God, God damn it. Just, just God damn it. <laughs> I know I got my win condition off, but God damn it. <laughs> Banshee's Blade. Pay another two. 
I'm gonna create another. Well, I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna create it. I have to. I have to play around with the with the stupid tokens. Uh, but create another token. Thank you, cockatrice. Okay, this token is equipped with the banshee's blade. All right. Um, whenever equipped creature deals combat damage, I put a charge counter on the blade, and equipped creature gets plus one plus one for each charge counter on the blade. Okay. I am going to swing. Oh God, I know what you're going to do. You're going to you're going to use you're going to use a fourth mana to get the last two power you need to take me out, huh? Uh, I certainly hope not. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm going to swing uh, one with the equipped uh, Mur, and then I'm also going to swing with seventeen. No, not seventeen. Sixteen of my other Murs. So all right, I will. Uh, have a Verdian Shaman block the uh, Banshee's Blade. And I will have uh, my um, an, uh, one of my other Verdian Shamans block one of the other incoming m mirror. Mm -hmm. And I will have my Clockwork Beetle block yet another one of the incoming mirror. So. Um, oh wait, wait that th that this this is the correct this is the correct orientation. So untapped is untapped are my blockers. Taps are taps are attacking. That's I my mistake. To, I need to remove the arrow. I <laughs> <laughs> the arrow has been reversed. <laughs> okay, right. so you're you're blocking with three creatures, so I lose three mers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, remove counter. Remove counter dissipate put a charge counter on the banshee's blade you still take um hold it no yes oh yeah 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 because you dealt combat damage okay you I'm still take six it's not 16 it's because i attack i attacked with i attacked with 17 creatures and you block three of them so you take 14 okay bring me down to six i took the lead <laughs> no. with uh i'm gonna move in my second main phase i'm gonna pay two and I'm going to equip one of my untapped Murs with the Banshee's Blade. It is now a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Remove counter. Create another token. Put this guy over here. There are arrows everywhere. I'm going to end my turn. <laughs> the arrows dissipate when you change faces, by the way. Well, there, well, there's one of my other win cons, but unfortunately, uh, I am I am too mana starved to do anything. Mm. Oh, well. I will end. All right. Oh, shit. Clockwork Beetle is dead. He is? Oh, because he blocked. Yeah. Do you still end? Yeah, I still end. Okay. I uh, just... Can I... Can I... But I must now plead to the gods of magic. Can I draw something other than fucking mana right now? The answer is yes, but it's not very useful. Uh, I'm going to put down uh, on my ninth swamp. Pay three mana. Put down a wall 20, of... Are, how many mana are you running in this? Nin Nineteen. Uh I it, it used to it used to be twenty. I I took it down to nineteen because because of this fucking mana flood. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, I'm going to swing into you for seventeen. All right. Yeah, that's game. That is game. All right. On to R three. All glory to the fucking Mur Incubator, a card that I've lost to many times outside of Cockatrice. 